Hey, what is going on everybody? So you have a Sony TV remote here and you have an issue. Maybe the power button doesn't work, doesn't turn the TV on and off, or maybe one button doesn't work or two buttons, or perhaps your remote control is ghosting, okay? Maybe it's automatically pressing buttons without you doing anything. I'm gonna show you guys what to do before you guys take the remote apart or buy a new remote. 50% of you guys will have your remote up and, up and running before the end of this video, okay? So very, very simple. Doesn't matter what Sony remote it is. The first thing you gotta do is go ahead and pop the battery out. So go ahead and just take out the battery. After you take out your battery, go ahead and grab your remote and the power button, I'm going you to press and hold this button down. Press and hold the power button down for about 30 seconds. After 30 seconds, Next thing I want you to do is go ahead and with the batteries out, I want you to press every single button on here, okay? Every single button, push it in like a bunch of times quickly in and out as fast as possible. A lot of times it's possible that you have like uh, dirt or lint or maybe like a hand lotion or something like that gets caught in like one of the buttons and then that causes all kinds of issues in, in, into the uh, entire remote. So go ahead and just keep clicking every single button here all the way down every single button all right every single button all the way in every single button now go ahead and just pop your batteries back in don't put the back plate on but go ahead and turn your tv on and make sure the remote is functioning fine okay if it is then you can go ahead and put the back plate on if it's not go ahead and take the batteries back out and do the same thing again okay so this time i want you to do is pre press and hold the power button again for 30 seconds then let go and now i want you to press a little bit more hard and more times on every single button on here. Every single button. Every single one, okay? Also, now do this. Give it a couple of whacks. Now, go ahead and put your batteries back in. Fire TV up and your TV remote should be up and running. If it's still not, you can go ahead and try this um, a few more times. But like I said, at least 50% of you guys, uh, you're not gonna have to buy a new remote or get the, this remote repaired, okay? Anyways, if this, helped you, if this helped out, give me a thumbs up. Thanks for watching, guys.